Meghan Markle's sister stunned as radio host hangs up during interview What a Loser. Meghan Markle's half-sister Samantha Markle was accused of using her sister's fame to promote a book on her personal life before radio host Kyle Sindelance hanged up on her for being a bore. Meghan Markle's feuding half-sister Samantha is set to see her tell-all book on her life published in April-May close to the Duchess of Sussex's due date. But as Samantha attempted to promote her book, titled In the Shadow of the Duchess, she was shut down for exploiting her connection to the royal to trick media organizers into pushing your s asterisk asterisk t book. Radio host Kyle Sindelance raged at Meghan's sister for her marketing stunt before hanging up on her. As Samantha tried to defend her decision to publish her memoir, insisting her book included tales of her personal experience in the entertainment industry, the Keys 106.5 host said, Why didn't you call the book My Boring Life? Why did you bring your sister into it? Marketing Reasons See you later, you sound like such a bore. I'm not interested. Don't use your sister's name to trick media organizations into pushing your s asterisk asterisk t book. As he hanged up on her, Mr. Sindelance said, You gone, see ya. Bye. What a loser. Meghan Markle and her family have a well-established fractured relationship, with half-sister Samantha Brendan the Duchess heartless as she retracted a Christmas card in which she urged her royal sibling to end a rift with their father, Thomas Markle, ahead of the holidays. Because of her repeated attacks on Meghan, Samantha Markle has been reportedly added to a fixated person's list over fears she could embarrass the Duchess of Sussex. Meghan's half-sister has reportedly been placed on the list due to the reputational risk she poses to the royals. A Scotland Yard source told the Sunday Times, you can't protect someone like the Duchess of Sussex without knowing the background of her family. But someone like Samantha presents a risk rather than a threat. She is not committing criminal offenses, but she is causing concerns for the royal family. There's big potential for some major embarrassment for the royals. Samantha could make a scene and create headlines with her actions and let's face it she's kind of already done that. Despite the upcoming release of Samantha's book, Meghan Markle is now expected to focus her efforts on preparation for the upcoming birth of her first child to Prince Harry. Earlier this month Meghan broke with tradition as she confirmed to a group of well-wishers her due date is expected to be in late April or early May. Meghan and Harry have revealed they have decided not to find out the sex of their firstborn, meaning the nursery for the latest royal is expected to be decorated in neutral but bold tones. Royal expert Katie Nichol said, according to sources who were helping with their new home renovations, the nursery itself is going to be very modern. Don't expect to see any baby pink or baby blue. Apparently it's going to be a monochrome palette white and grays, I'm told, will be the color theme for baby Sussex's nursery. Kensington Palace disclosed in October that the pair are expecting their first child in the spring, but gave no indication as to the sex. However, it is known that if their firstborn is a boy he will have the surname Mountbatten Windsor and will be known as the Earl of Dumbarton. If their bundle of joy is a girl, she will be known as Lady Mountbatten Windsor. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.